Yesterday we told you about a controversial protest in Sweden, a plan to burn the Quran in public. Well, they went ahead with it. Two men gathered outside this mosque in Stockholm. One of them ripped out pages from the Islamic holy book. He stomped on it. He wrapped it with bacon, which is taboo in Islam. And then he set it on fire. Around 200 people saw this entire episode unfold. Some of them shouted, God is great in Arabic. Others shouted, let it burn. The man behind this protest has been identified. It's a 30-year-old Iraqi refugee. He wants to ban the Quran in Sweden. But why burn it? Why desecrate a holy book in public? And that too on one of the holiest days in the Islamic calendar. What really was the point of this protest? If it was to offend, then well, congratulations. You've caught the attention of the whole world, the Islamic world, to be sure. Morocco has withdrawn its envoy to Sweden. Turkey is also up in arms. Look at what their foreign minister is saying, and I'm quoting. It's unacceptable to allow such actions under the pretext of freedom of expression. To condone such acts is to be complicit. Talk about strange times. Even Turkey is making sense. The public opinion in Sweden is also against this protest. Listen into some of the reactions. It's just part of that perpetual Islamophobia that just keeps growing and growing and growing and and I'm terrified to think where this is going to end. We should not tolerate these things. We just have to say stop. It's not okay to humiliate other people. Freedom of speech is very uh, important, but I think uh, burning a religious book, it's not freedom of speech. It's another thing. It's a provocation. Well, there you have it. The Islamic world is unhappy, the people are unhappy, and even Sweden's allies are unhappy. 